everyday stamp and turn Good evening everyone, welcome to the How To Craft Network Studio 3. Lots of you on, thank you so much for taking the time to come and see me and say hello. It means a lot tonight because we've got some crazy good stuff going on tonight, we really, really have. I have been watching all of your comments um, and all of your questions. I have been writing a few down and I have written some names of people who have said that they're newbies also, which is wonderful. So we'll give them a dedicated shout out also. Wow. Oh. Sorry about me. Sorry about me. So welcome everyone. Um, if you are brand new to the channel, let us know. Uh, if you're brand new, you've just stumbled across us or if you've just subscribed to our channel uh, in the last week or so and you're wondering what Studio 3 is all about. Well, I'm going to tell you what it's all about this evening because I've got a lovely show lined up for you all. Now, Studio 3 is a wonderful place to come. We have updates in relation to brand new launches products we do demonstrations we do classes we have painting classes and sometimes we just sit and talk about anything and everything put the world to rights, should we say so the first thing is if you are watching if you're able to share please do so because i do have giveaways i always do two giveaways one in the live show and i have some awesome giveaways tonight and then for another giveaway for anyone who pops a comment underneath this video and we've gone off air so if you don't win in, in the main event i always give people the opportunity to win um after a comment underneath this video when we've gone off air because i appreciate some people have to work and don't always get the um, live shows so it gives them the opportunity also to win some lovely goodies from stamped by me so if you are able share because karen will pick a winner uh, to the lovely groups that you're in there are some amazing groups out of there that just share the love of craft so if you're able to share please do so and then we'll um get straight into it so i have a couple of things to tell you about but before i do let's do a little bit of a shout out so i have all platforms working this evening touch wood all good um and we're on cooking on gas i can't say the same for my one o'clock show today though if you didn't see my one o'clock show today, normally I say go back and watch it because it was a fabulous show. But today I'm going to say, if you want to laugh, go back and watch one o'clock today. Gosh, I were all ready for it. I were on fire. I had fire in my belly. I was like, right, going to do a great technique today. Went wrong once, went wrong twice, totally changed it up third time. Oh, do you know where you sigh? Anyway. This, this afternoon show was epic, James. It was, wasn't it? Oh, gosh, I tell you. I have had a shower. I'm ready to fight the world this evening. I've got some gorgeous stuff for you all. Um, so I'm just going to just have a look. Um, we are streaming on Facebook too and other platforms. So let me just oh, give a shout out on there. So we've got Cheryl. We have Dorothy. Um, if I miss any of your comments, um, please don't shout at me. Um, hi, Hazel. Um, Gail Matthews. Going to be on Bread and Water this month. I know, um, actually, Sh Sh Hazel Eaton uh, is one of our uh, dedicated suppliers as well. So she has her eyes on these two. So if they sell out, you know where to go. Good old Hazel Eaton. So um, let's have a look. Quick shout out then. So we've got Michaela, Marl. My gosh, there's so many of you on this evening. Over 250 people watching. That's amazing. Right. Rosie, Helen, Lindsay, Sue, Audrey. Carol, Adele, Sally McLeod. Yay, worked out how to share on Facebook. Well done, Sally. Rosie, Brianna, liked and shared. Evening to all. I've been crafting non-stop since your 1pm show. Oh, well, at least I inspired somebody today because I'm telling you now, I felt like rubbish when I came off there and I've got something to tell you about it in a second as well because I told you a, a little fib by error, but I want to tell you it in a second. So, Leslie, Shirley, Bernadette, Denise Hulons, that's a nice name, Hulons, beautiful name that, Michaela Brown, Pat Pepper, hi sweetheart, Michaela Brown, oh my goodness me, my laptop's churning, churning, churning because there's so many of you out, let's have a look, right, okay, let's jump straight, straight in, so I have um, a launch over on Create and Craft One Day Special on Friday and I'm going to talk to you about what's going to be live in the show, now we always do a lovely preview and I'm going to do a demo as well this evening because I have a funny feeling 
I have sort of like two um, launches this evening and I feel like when I do the six o'clock on Friday because it's a one day special I'm not going to get a be able to touch on it because it's going to be a fast paced show and sometimes as you all know when it's a fast paced show I can't take a breath and my nose runs so if that happens you know something's going crazy and guess what I've even got tissue for this, e <laughs> for this evening as well I don't know what it is when I maybe get a little bit nervous or I get a little bit anxious or a little bit excited the nose goes I mean it's big enough to go isn't it but you know the nose goes so I've always got a tissue stashed somewhere <laughs> hi Craig lovely Craig from Crafters Companion lovely to see you all so um if you can like and share that'd be brilliant wonderful so just a quick recap on the one o'clock show today at one o'clock not as fast as hsn absolutely not i know i'm learning though i'm getting good aren't i um so the one o'clock show today when i used my acetate today i'm like oh yeah it's heat resistant it's heat resistant anyway i did it didn't i and it melted and i'm like this has to be the one that is not heat resistant and it has to be creative expressions because mine is definitely heat resistant and i was like so i sent him off didn't i as you all saw in the live i mean crazy and i had my mobile phone because i was waiting for a delivery and you all know we never have mobile phones whilst we're in on set because it's so unprofessional but i had to have it today so it sort of like was going quite well and then i sent him off didn't i and i said tim can you go grab me my acetate because my acetate is heat resistant and that's the one that i need anyway he brings it in i opens it up goes to do it again it's not heat resistant and it just absolutely as soon as i pulled that cover off the static just blew my embossing powder all over i was like oh this is a disaster anyway the point of the story is i thought my embossing my acetate was heat resistant it's not and i'm thinking where did i get it from that it is heat resistant and then i remembered you know my shaker windows it was funky fossil now i think she's on i'm gonna blame her now anyway live now so uh, sarah tested our shaker windows you know with the taped sides and she said if you did it gently it um heat embossed didn't it and i thought i'm sure that's so anyway i tried it after studio and it worked and that's where i've got confused so please do not use my acetate with your gun because i'm telling you it will just melt like my face just a heads up don't want you to waste it <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I do have a moment. And you know what as well? I did have a bit of chocolate. I'd had a Kit Kat. I'd had my lunch. I was on fire, wasn't I? Not as much as I am tonight. So there's the story behind one o'clock. If you want to go back and watch the disaster and how I sort of semi-recovered it, <laughs> then you can. And now I'm getting told off because now it's Sarah's like, chuff it out. Now I'm getting, <laughs> now I'm getting the blame. <laughs> no, she's not getting the blame. But she did check it and I checked it as well. And I must have got confused with the shaker windows and my own acetate. But there you go. That's a story for another time. So let's get straight into it. Um, I have uh, a lady on here who said she was a newbie. I'm just going to give her a dedicated shout out because we all know how much we love you newbies. So Please forgive me the name, the surname. We have a lovely lady on called Sue. Sue Nizawaski. Sue Nizawaski. You're going to have to tell me if I've said that wrong, but it sounds about right, I think. Let's have a look. Oh my God, I can't keep up with comments, ladies and gents. Kellyanne Jordan. Welcome, sweetheart. Hope you're well. Hope your little boy's okay too. Elisa Hollingrake liked and shared. Thank you, Elisa. That's really kind. Lots of newbies on today. It was funny, Cheryl says. I know, at my expense. But I'm over it. I'm totally over it. I've had my tea. I'm ready to go. So, <laughs> look at you what, Sarah. Get her told. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. So, a weekly update then. So, welcome, Sue. I saw you said you were a newbie. Welcome. If you Well, let us know where you are in the world, weather-wise. We love to hear from you um we've got shaz on sue emma sharon right i don't want to get too much caught up in what's going on on here uh because it'll distract from what i'm doing and i want to do a demo as well so but it, i always go back and read the comments too so lovely to see you on the channel sue there try sue nestoratvich is that better <laughs> nestoratvich nestorovich nestorovich and again a great name right a couple of things i want to talk about so this week on our channel, we've got a really busy week this week, guys. 
So tomorrow I'm live with you at one o'clock tomorrow with the Create Together Club. Hopefully no disasters tomorrow. I'm going nowhere near acetate tomorrow. Nowhere near it. So one o'clock tomorrow and then six o'clock tomorrow night, me and um, Sarah have a wonderful craft along together, you know, where we craft and we have sort of like a fun competition. See who does the best card. Yep, Sarah always loses. Um, but yeah, that's tomorrow at six o'clock. I'm not looking at the comments because she'll be giving me grief. So six o'clock tomorrow night. So 1 p.m., 6 p.m. Then on uh, Wednesday, guess who's in studio from Spellbinders? 6 p.m. Wednesday night, we have Susan Tierney Coburn, who is going to be doing a live demonstration using some of the fabulous products that are available on our website. So I've ordered a ton of the flowers that she owns. I've ordered some kits. I've ordered some machines. We have hot foil machines. We have hot foiling products. And hopefully Susan's going to show you and demonstrate how her lovely flowers work. She also has a fabulous group as well. So I will, we will talk about that in detail on Wednesday night at six o'clock. You know we love to share the love of craft. We love to inspire. Um, this is us getting back into that, um, getting different brands in, showing you different things. Because I appreciate we all like different things. So if we can sort of like team up, connect the dots and have some fun with it, then that's brilliant. So Susan, oh, hi, everybody's excited for Susan. Oh, I'm Sarah as well. I didn't miss you out there, Sarah, look. Although it does take 45 minutes to do a demo. I'll have to tell her to hurry up. <laughs> I love teasing. So, um, unless you, it's teasing me, I don't like, because I had a really bad day, day today at one o'clock, but, you know, we're so over it, aren't we, everyone? Sounds like an epic week. And then Friday, Thursday, one o'clock, we have the last Create Together Club. Then Friday... Creating Craft TV one day special starting at 6 p.m., 9 p.m., Saturday 10 and 2. How's that sound for a blinking busy week? I do love a busy week though, it keeps me out of bother. I'm just, just going through these comments here. Just, oh. Linda McKenzie, I'm giving you a shout out from Dorothy Black on the cruise. Can't wait to see you. Anita's wait, looking forward to this. Kelly's uh, little boy's all good. That's lovely to hear, sweetheart. Uh, Craig shouting hi. Brenda Denici. Right, let's get straight into it. What an amazing week. Yeah, keep you all busy and keep you all out of bother. That's the great thing, isn't it? So, a couple of things to show you. Where do I start? I have a little list to talk through here as well. About Christmassy things as well. Um, but we'll, we'll get straight into them. Oh, Brianna's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Hilary Lowe. Susan is a fantastic floral artist. Dyes that create realistic looking flowers. Her attention to detail is amazing. It's like no other Hilary. I totally agree. Right, so first of all, I want to talk to you about, I don't know where to start. I'm such a good kipper. Now, how long have I been saying to you all about... Um, Shake it off, shake it off. Can you remember? I was like, I've got some amazing shaker stuff coming for you. So we launched the lovely windows with tape on. I bet you all thought it was that, didn't you? Absolutely not. So um, keep sharing though, guys. Oh, there's a ton of you on. Um, well, I have some groundbreaking 3D shaker embossing folders for you all. Check that out. And I'll just tell you a little bit of, Thing about them before I get them out so I have two squares two rectangles and the center drops out and they give you a beautiful chamfer edge so they frame your work as well they are divine and let me tell you um <laughs> so excited. and let me tell you um the die is not built in as in stuck in for good so if you want to create a 3d embossing folder with the frame and the flowers you absolutely can do that so the die is only taped in so you can take it out if you don't want to use it and you can put it back in and add some tape with your liner tape stick it back in so so cool so what well, emma's like well i know i need these so i think if i show you a sample first because i've only got two 
sorry about that but um they've all gone to tv because they're doing some videos and things on them but let me just show you this one i'm not gonna say a word now tell me tell me tony at the top of the crafting products wow isn't that cool i know so before i show you the actual sort of um product in real form i just want to talk you through the embossing folder so the embossing folder has this chamfered edge okay it has the corner detail and the center drops out but like i said the actual um embossing folder in the center uh, if you don't want it to drop out and you want it to leave the white space in because maybe you want to stamp a beautiful verse or something like that, the die comes out and I'll show you very, very easily, okay? And I've only had the dies taped in so you can take them out if you want to or um, leave them in if you want to. Me, I'm just going to leave them in. Uh, blooming it, guys, amazing. Isn't it beautiful? So that's... Look at this. And you all, you all know the 3D is incredible from Stamps by Me anyway, but what do we think, guys? I'm sorry. I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Right, let me just show you the products very quickly because I do have a lovely demo. So let's talk through. Let's do the two uh, five by seven so we have positivity and eternity. Let me show you. Let me just open them up here. Now... Before I get into these, I do want to say something to you. You remember when we did our um, pretty things inside the box, don't you? You all remember that. And I said to you, I think it's going to be busy. I can never, I can never second guess. I always do all of my prep. I always do all of my boards because I just never know how the shows are going to go. But sometimes I just get a feel that someone uh, that that they're going to do really well. And I felt it with the box, and it. And I were, it were a one day special and if you remember I think I got to air and there was nine left I feel like that is going to be the case with these because they're so pretty they're so classic in design they're really really unique they don't have to be shakers if you don't want them to so it's sort of like yes we do 3D embossing yes we do HD 3D but now we're stepping it up even further so that you've got so much creative content in your stash to mix in with all of the other lovely brands I mean we have Imala, we have Thirsty Brush, um, you know, Simon's range, Hazel's on as well. Hazel's just had a beautiful launch with the lovely Julie Hickey. All of it will work together so, so well. That's what makes me very happy and I think that's why you love Stamps by Me because we're a company that does truly share the love of craft and are in it for the right reasons and the right people are in the right place at the right time. I mean, even Sarah's cute critter had fit in this embossing folder. Is that right, Sarah? Is she still on or she got monk on? Has she gone? Are they in a box? Michaela, they're not in a box. Let's get back into it. So, this is the embossing folder. So, you can see, if I just pull this out here, can you just see here? I've Normally, they're glued, okay? They have like a glued area. But what I've done is I've just had it taped. And you know, sometimes when you do a die cut and you can fit it back into the area and it just sort of like, you just wiggle it around, then it fits back into place. You can slot it back in and stick it back down. It does no harm to your embossing folder. As long as you use like a tape pen, just an inexpensive tape pen. Don't use like your high tack really, um, you know, the, the tapes that cause problems and stick to your artwork and things like that. Just use a low tack one and tape it back in. I would probably guess most of you won't remove, but the capability to remove is there for you. So that's what makes them totally, totally um unique as well so this one is called positivity so if you're making a list um you can choose which ones you like now they're all on as individuals as always so if you just like one you can just get the one so that one's positivity and this one's eternity now this one has a double edge the chamfer edge which is beautiful and this one has a stitch and an edge so hopefully you can see that there honestly I'm going to run one through and I'll show you in a second. So they are the two 5x7s, okay? Now, there are four in total and they are in a bundle as four, but I've also popped in some acetate. So if you haven't got any acetate at home, I've put in the acetate for free. 
So if you haven't got any acetate at home, as soon as you get these home, all you've got to do is pop some glitter or some sequins behind. You really are good to go uh, straight away from the get-go. So let me just show you these lovely um, square ones. Keep sharing, guys, because it's a lovely show, and I'm going to do a giveaway as well. The giveaway is going to be fantastic. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry you're going to be broke. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Right, let's have a look at the next ones. So we have Simplicity, which is... I can't do 5 by 7 it's my favourite, so I have to think of everybody else. So we have Simplicity here, which is corner to corner. And again, this gives this like hexagon edge with that lovely chamfered edge on there. And then we have Sweet Pea Garden, which is this beautiful creeping Sweet Pea. Now, the design team are going to be showcasing makes for these as soon as I've gone off air. Let me tell you, can you remember when Stamps by Me started with our embossing folders all those many years ago? We painted them. That's why I loved them, wasn't it? Because we could paint them with our watercolours. Picking up that brush, losing yourself in that moment. These look stunning painted. Sharon's done a few painted. Karen's done a few painted. Pfft, even in white, they are amazing, as you all know. So let's just show you this. Love the square ones. Look at these. So again, if you look, just the tiniest bit of tape on both ends. I asked them to use the tiniest bit of tape. So it is in there. You can take it out. In fact, if I show you here, look. They just come out. You can just pull them out if you want to. Not glued in so they, so they stay put. And But again, I didn't want it to be floating around in the pack as well because I think you're going to use them for... Um, shakers more than anything tony did you check to see if you got my email about the winning giveaway i did check julie but i couldn't see anything but the girls haven't been in because of the bank holiday so they're back in in the morning so it's on my radar though sweetheart so that's sweet pea and this one is simplicity i'm going to run one of these through in a second so when they're on air they come in uh, a bundle of four again no pressure to buy all guys you can go and buy just the one if you just want the one this one's incredible as well um, and now I've put in some acetate so you can get going from the get-go, right? Right, so there are brand new 3D shaker embossing folders. Never been seen before. And there are some Christmas ones. Shh. Might be a cheeky robin on there, maybe. Or some holly, maybe. So that's your four embossing folders. And I'm going to run one through in a second. But I also have our latest. These are brand new. You've not seen it. We've never done anything like this before. So these are brand new too. Uh, the design team haven't even had these. They just sent out the um, Shaker 3D embossing folds and forgot about these. But, you know, it's okay. I'm sure they will kill me later. As everybody else, they'll all have to join the list, won't they? They'll all have to join the list of people who want to get their hands around my... Um, anyway, you have to, Karen. You'll have to follow. <laughs> you'll have to fo follow um, Sarah. Sarah will have to follow somebody else. So join the queue, guys. Oh. Right. So let's show you these. These are our painted mounts. I see where I'm going with these, don't you? So these are our brand new floral hues and floral art painted mounts. Now you're probably thinking they are lovely. Let me tell you, they are. So they're a heavy weight, so they are 300 GSM. So great for a card topper, just with a sentiment. You know, these wonderful words that you all just bought recently. Absolutely stunning. Um, absolutely beautiful. Let's show you. So these fit seamlessly within the windows of your shakers. So if you want to do um, the lovely shakers with the mounts behind, you can do that. So this is uh, eight designs, six 16 pages 300 gsm now they're quite artistic we have the splats on there question question they will be brilliant with cogs and gears for mail cards steampunk cards absolutely oh terry i want to get ahead with my christmas creations this year i know i have i'll talk to you a bit about christmas so let's just um, get past these ones so let's show you the different designs in here because I have a funny feeling. There are some subtle ones which you can add colour to yourselves if you want to. Totally play it back because I appreciate some do like the clean and simple. Then we have this one here. 
um, so you can totally jazz these up uh, ink blend the edges if you want to um, you know add colour yourself they're uncoated so you can do all of the lovely things that you want to do they go through your embossing folders beautifully so there's some quite vintagey ones in here I tried to step away from what you would all normally expect because you know you don't want to see all the same stuff all of the time and I think if anything we are that company that gives you such a diverse range of craft we totally we're not just one dimensional you can't I don't think you can say although we do have our Quattro D and lamination and our HD 3D embossing folders we're known for that but we're not one dimensional we have so many different types of craft but they all come together they all just work and I love how diverse we are as a crafter I don't want to get bored um, I want to be creative with new pretty things as Karen would say on there let's show you this one hi Heidi Elizabeth says she wants it all show you this one this one's more sketchy so this is floral hues honestly they're a great way 300 GSM for someone who's not the best colourer, they're brilliant. They are wonderful. So I'll just flick through these. As you can see, I've used some for my demos because I've been prepping my demos for the last two days. This is on one of my demos. Let me look at that. Hi, Tony. Hi, Heidi. Oh, Anne says, it's the 70th in a month. Her son asked her what she would like. She's going to make a list. Bless her. So you can see, as always, although they're rather vintage, because they are quite vintage, aren't they? They still have Tony Derrick and our lovely crafty family in, don't we? have our traditional splats. We have the watercolour. We have um, we have what we love. So those are two of the lovely um, new mounts. There are lots of these to come. And I think these are a great shortcut if we don't want to paint really don't want to paint they're absolutely wonderful so we i'll do a recap in a second when we've um when we've got through all of the stuff that's the your phase so the lovely um stamps that you all bought these are in the show as well not the price you got them at but i have popped them in the show as well so you will see that these have been used on the lovely samples here so made with love in the center there so these are in the show too and love you as well this one there around here so I'll pop this in the show for anybody that might be interested in that we also have all of the Teresa Collins acetate back in stock now I was thinking if you wanted um, gold spots heart spots stripes whatever it may be in the windows these are back in stock this is a heavyweight construction makes the most beautiful gift boxes with the decorative heart stripe spots and plain on here these are back in stock these have been added to the show so so far so good before i show you what else is going to be in the show i'm going to run one of those embossing folders through and just show you how they work is that okay because i think you're going to be blown away by how they absolutely work there are a ton of people on that let me just make sure i'm not missing any questions take a dip i think i need to blow my nose <laughs> I'm sorry you're going to be broke. I'm so sorry. Have it, has anybody got any questions? Oh, Sue says she's lost a scoreboard for a Eureka. P personal message me, Sue. We'll have some spares knocking around. Let me know your address. We'll send you one out. And to the lady that's accidentally cut through one of her stencils when she's had it under a piece of paper, I've just popped a message on your Facebook page as well saying, send me your address, I'll send you another. Oh, don't you just love it? Happy accidents right so let's just run one of these embossing folders through really quickly and show you how they work and then i'll show you what else is in the show super exciting super super exciting yeah give a shout out to all of your friends it's lovely to see you all let me just grab some card oh we could go gold oh i think oh. shall we do a bit of gold let's do a bit of gold and a bit of white we'll do two and then I'll show you the next one. And I've got a full demo for the one after that. Let me just grab a piece of card. Just need to cut it down. It's really important I show you because... 
Jane. Question, question. Will you be showing the other? Great shout, that James. That was on my that's on my list to speak to you all about. Now Karen messaged me and said, look, she's had a couple of people wanting to know what the papers look like, and I said, don't worry, I'll show them tonight. However, I haven't got them with me. So I'm live tomorrow at one o'clock, sweetheart. So I will get all of them out and I'll do a, a run through in studio tomorrow, one o'clock. Sorry about that. I just got a bit giddy about tonight. Again, you'll have to join the list of everybody else who wants to, you know, beat me up. You can't, you can't beat a girl up who loves a pot of pie and a Kit Kat, can we? What size are they? Carol, the square ones are six by six, sweetheart. Right, we'll do a rectangle one and a square one. So I've just put a piece of a rectangle here. Let me just make sure it's not too big. Now, a couple of tips for you because I'll probably forget to tell you when I'm live at six o'clock on. So they're totally exclusive to creating crafty embossing folders, okay? Unless, unless you are in the USA, they will be live um, tomorrow for our USA fans. Um, and we do that to just basically say thank you for shopping with us direct. And secondly, you'll probably get it at the same time as our UK following as well. So I'm just cutting this down to size and then we'll run this one through. And then I think, so that's for my rectangle one and then we'll get the square one. We'll cut one of the square ones as well. I think we'll do the sweet pea. I love the sweet pea. Don't really see much of sweet peas, do you? I am sorry you're going to be on the bread and butter. I have seen how sincere I am. It's a good one though, isn't it? And you know I'm the first to say, look, if you're not sure you're sitting on the fence, wait till I launch something else because I'm always launching things. But today I think is a little bit of an exception because these are delicious. Wait till I've got wait till I've, I've got one more thing to show you as well. I adore sweet peas too. Right, so that's cut. Let's move this out of the way for now. all good now let's just get rid of this let's do the square first so a couple of tips then so if you buy these how soon can we buy them tony joe uh, card studio so they'll go to create and craft they're only exclusive to create and craft for uh 24 hour um so i have a funny feeling they're going to sell out if they sell out on tv then you can buy direct However, I have given most of the stock to create and craft, but we'll see how it goes. If you're in the USA, you will be able to buy them as of tomorrow. So let's show you what I'm doing. So the way that I like to use these with the built-in shaker window is I like the die on the front, okay? And that's an indicator that I'm going to get the embossed to the front. So maybe you can pop like a, an F front, on the front of it if you want to can you see there an f front just to help you out or you know face up anything you want to so i'm just going to take the card here denise question question when is heather and lime made back in stock it comes in a couple of months when we launch our christmas colors um denise so i'll let you know though make sure you click that notify me button so i've just popped it inside there like so and then i'm just going to run it through my machine So let's run this one through. <clears throat> now, they'll all go through everybody's machine. You're just going to have to play around with your plate setting for your own machine, okay? Because everybody's plates are different, so just bear that in mind, guys. I need those inks so bad. Right. 
Are you ready? <laughs> so exciting. Just get my finger underneath that card so I can try and do a bit of a reveal for you. Are you ready? What do we think of that? Cha 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 cha. That, my friend, is the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> the back uh, Carol, when will the machine be back in stock? It's uh, about five weeks. Wow! Look at the detail, and more importantly, look at the chamfered edge that is where the style really comes in for me i love them i absolutely love them i can't tell you and you know what they're incredibly beautiful on the deboss side also <sighs> wow totally totally awesome now like i said they are exclusive to create and craft now i'm not sure when um when they will be live all i would say is I know, and I always tell you as well, don't I, to maybe wait until I go live. Um, on this occasion, I'm not going to do that. In fact, on any occasion now, since what happened with the box, because I told you all to wait, didn't I, till the price came down. And then I had a lot of, not angry people, but a lot of customers saying, you told us to wait and there were none left, and I felt so bad. So I'm not going to tell you to wait. If you want to get it, go ahead and get it. So shall we... Um, Let's cut one of the re let's cut the rectangle very quickly. What time am I on? Better hurry up. Better check a leg. So again, I'm doing the rectangle one this time. Okay, so I'm just going to take the cardstock again. I'm just going to pop it in the front. I did say I'd do some on some foil, but I'll do that on telly because I'm running out of time. Beautiful, Linda says. Thank you so much. Crystal Freeman Beth shared. Thank you so much. They are very nice. Thank you. Aren't they just? So I'll just put that one there for now. Let's just make some space. Let's bring this in. Oh, Shirley, bless you. I think I'm going to need a backup show. I have to have a backup show now, Shirley, for everything I do, unfortunately. Oh, I know. It's not a bad thing. So this is the 5 by 7 one. In fact, um, let me just double check that for you. I think they are 5 by 7 Let's just double check. Where's that square one? Yeah, so that's 6 by 6 ladies and gents. You can see there on my mat. Let's just check this one. Yeah, I thought so. 5 by 7 Are you ready? Uh, Karen, will the Amala City Streets be coming back in stock, please? I will check, Karen. I'm not sure. Three D. I say it every time, like no other. Now imagine these painted. Loving the new folders. Thank you so much, guys. This is actually that's the sneak peek that I showed you, wasn't it? It was just that little flower, just that little one. So that is your lovely um, five by seven. Now do remember they're only taped in. So if you want to remove the die, so you have all of this left in. When you die cut, you can absolutely do that. Excuse my chocolate fingerprint on there. So speechless, aren't they? So we have some amazing Christmas ones that's coming as well. And lots of other Christmas stuff. And I'll talk you through that in a second. So they are the two that I've just quickly run through for you there. Um, and I'm showing you on white because if they look fabulous on white, you know they're going to look extraordinary on any other colour. Painted, 
colored cardstock black card with white accents whatever it may be so that's those i'm so excited right i'm going to leave that there because that's going to be my demo so the next thing i want to talk to you about and it's on its top today ladies and gents so we have a new quattro d right so now this quattro d is different so we've done flowers we've done cocktails we've done fashion we have lots of quattro d coming through we have quattro d christmas coming through um <clears throat> which is in the building um we have lots of stuff which is in the building which i'm so excited about um but i have a beautiful floral frame for you all okay i have not got a quattro d pot pie <laughs> i thought that's what sarah had written quattro d pot pie but she didn't so let's show you quattro d now i know a lot of you are collecting quattro d love quattro d so this one is a square frame quattro d and i'm going to demo this one because i honestly do not think i'm going to get time to touch it now this is available already and it's in a six by six form so your cocktails and your fashion collection were all built in size so you could build them together as like a like a collection on a card so you could put several cocktails a high heel shoe this is a standalone quattro d okay so this one is six by six and it's totally going to hold its own and it works incredibly well with these that you all got as being club members okay so let me show you let me just move it out of the way so for those of you that may not know what our quattro d system is it's the four stages we launched this last year and it's taken the world by storm in my opinion it's absolutely incredible now i have to tell you although we've had so many quattro d's my design team said to me, which actually shocked me, that this is the best Quattro D we've done so far. I was like, hang on a minute, you all love the high heel. And they're like, yeah, well, we still do love the high heel, but this is incredible. I'm like, well, what's different about it? Like, I just can't tell you, it's gorgeous. And then I had a play with it, and then I'm messaging them going, girls, isn't it good? They were like, I told you. So let's just show you. So it's the four stages, you get your 3D embossing folder, you get your layering stencil system, you get your stamp, and then you get your outline die, okay? Oh, that wasn't a very nice noise, sorry about that. So let's show you. So we have our layering stencils. Now this is 6x6, it's a big one, as you can see. We have our wonderful embossing folder, which works as an entity on its own. We have the coordinating die, and you're probably thinking, hmm, stamps are in two, why? I felt like it would be really cool if we had half of the design stamped and half of it not, if you wanted to. Rather than leave it as one, I felt like separating it. Honestly, watch the results. I'm going to show you a demo right now. That says something if the design team have said that. Honestly, I can't tell you. Now, this is going to show an appearance in my box kit. So if you do get this, when the box kit's launched, the design team have done a couple of pages worth of inspiration on this as well. So you're going to get more inspiration than just me standing here doing stuff for you. So let's get straight into demo. Right, let's start with the layering stencils. So, exactly the same process. Okay, you have your heart line up if you want. But they are all numbered. So we have one, two, three... Four. we try our best to get all of the 3d in four stencils sometimes we have to go to five i don't think we've ever reached six i'm not certain but we're trying to be better on the environment and we pride ourselves on how long it takes this has been done since early last uh, late last year um designed but it's to get the 3d in so many little stencils is incredible as i guess these things are worth the wait you know so I'm just going to pop this on. I've cut it to size. So I'm just going to pop it on. Let's get some colour through. So I'm going to go a little bit vintage today. I'm going to go Heather and Fandango. Let me just grab my ink mat. Gail, this is worth being broke for. <laughs> so exciting, isn't it? So let's get some Heather on here. So I'll just line it up there. If you have your magnets on your glass mat, you can hold it in place. I don't have mine. Uh, they must be stuck somewhere. And let me just get my brushes. I'm using my Funky Fossil ones for the bigger area. So let's get some colour down here. 
So I'm aiming for this, but I'm aiming in like my own colour sort of um, sketch. So let's get some colour on. Tony, you are such a clever lady. Well, it's not just me. I have a great graphic designer as well who sits with me and figures it out with me. You know, honestly, we put the world to rights when we get together. Karen says, could we have QD beer glasses? Jim, Karen, they're done. Already done, sweetheart, on their way. Um... Oh, question, question. Great question, Ronald. Are the stencils heat resistant, Tony? I have never heat, um, heated up my stencils, so I don't know. I can ask my supplier, but I haven't heated them up personally, so I don't know. Does anybody else know? Has anybody else tried it? So always make sure the number's looking at you, which is number one's just there, look. Now, I'm going to absolutely throw a spanner it works now, because if you're thinking, do you know what? I'm going to leave QD this time. I bought QD on all of the other occasions. Um, I'm going to go for the shaker embossing folders. Wait till you see this. You're going to kick my butt, you lot. I just know it. You're going to be like, Tony. So I'm just going all over this with this lovely sort of vintage lilac DP. It's like a grey lilac. It's beautiful. But obviously, you can follow the packet and do the pinks. The purples, the greens, the teals, whatever you want to do it in. And I have actually got some samples of this one. So I'll just get that ink through. Not being too precious about it. As you know, we've got that lovely layering system. So lots of it does get hidden. So number one. Okay, let's just move number one out of the way. Elizabeth, not yet. Soon, sweetheart. So make sure you just click that notify me button. That's all I can advise. As soon as it comes in, I'll load it straight away. So number two, I'm following the number system. Um, let's just have a look here. So I think I'm going to go like into Fandango now. Oh, I love the new QD. You're going to cost me a fortune. I'm sorry. Isn't it wonderful, craft, hey? Isn't it wonderful? So I'm going now with this lovely Fandango, just on top. So just holding it in place. Now you can tape them down, use your magnets, whatever you want to do. Annette says, can I ask why you would heat a stencil? Yeah, is a yeah, what technique are you thinking about doing? Let us know. Listen, <laughs> I uh, used my embossing folder the other day with some hot wow powder. It went down a storm, actually. The results were incredible. So if it's a technique, you need me to try first so you guys don't ruin anything. I'm quite happy to do that, too. Anybody think I loved craft? So I'm just getting that lovely pur pinky, purpley, fuchsia whatever colour you want on there. And this is stencil number two. Okay. So you can see you start to get that dimension. Look absolutely beautiful. So then we're going into number three here. So just line it up at the corner to corner. I think if you want to do, if you want to get it lined up absolutely precise, you can ink through the four hearts. They're there to help you. But I would say... Once you've done it once, you'll just skip the hearts. But they're there for anybody who does really need them. So let's go a nice green this time on stencil number three. So there are no floppy, flimsy bits on the stencil. Again, it's one of the things we spend a lot of time connecting the pieces because it's frustrating, isn't it, when no fiddly dies, no mess, no fuss. I want to quit to the good stuff. Cut to the good stuff. 
should I say quit to the good stuff <laughs> um, I don't want to be faffing I'm not a faffer I like to get to the to the good stuff so I'm just going through here with the green make sure I cover all of those areas and you can make it as light or as dark as you want really I mean I'm going quite fast here because I do have a few samples to show you not many but enough so there we have our green and then number four just going to pop this on top line it up I promise you I am still here everyone for those of you that are commenting and I'm just like enjoying myself sorry about me so Shirley says she loves the look of this so the centers of the flowers are on the same um, so let's change out color on the same stencil because I think I think if you want to change it you can you can do an orange or yellow whatever you want to do so I'm gonna I've, I've come to ocean now so because I've got the green undertone already it's going to give me like a nice foresty darky colored green which is wonderful That one a bit dark, wasn't it? Oh, it'll still look fab. I'm convinced. So I have the centres of my flowers, so you can go with it in in with a yellow if you want. I think I'm just going to drag some of that blue in and make a blue one for now. Right, so crafting's the only thing that keeps me quiet. Terry says. <laughs> so let's have a look at what's next so we have our stamps so you can see they're in two parts um let's get our eureka i'm gonna need some help so i'm gonna grab the eureka let's get rid of this one out I'll just hold this in place here so, and then just take your time figure out which way it goes super easy not bad way oh this way no it's only this way that's it so this is where it's sort of like all very quickly comes together and this is sort of the wow factor and then when we do our die cut wait till you see it when it's die cut guys it's truly beautiful so i'm just going to line it up here and again if you don't quite line it up right don't worry about it because you have sort of that one mil sort of scope for error if you don't quite line it up okay so i'm just going to move it out of the way let's get our black ink pad So black ink pad here. Now do remember that these can be used as independents. I have some samples and I will show you as soon as I've done this how beautiful the stamps are just on their own. Partial stamp. And because, in fact let me just grab, because that stamp is in two parts, I mean look at this because the stamp is in two parts this is the things that you can achieve so as a company as a creator as an innovator it's really important to me that we make sure that you can get maximum output for your craft you know that's just the embossing folder on its own so i think we're good to go there i mean come on let's try and make it a bit darker I have some to show you in uh, embossing powders as well. Oh my gosh. Just get rid of that for now. So if you haven't shared, this is probably the last opportunity to share my show because Karen is going to pick a winner and then I'll get the message through.
and I have I'm going to give the show away Let's ink up our other side. So the Quattro D is on sale already. You can get it on the web. But the um, embossing folders are absolutely um, exclusive to TV. And I think it's right that we do that because TV support me in so many ways. So um, they will be on TV. This is available now but will be on tv as well but do bear in mind you need to shop where's best for you guys because if you're a club member over on create and craft you might get more discounts so you know spend what spend where it works for you so i'm just going to make this a bit darker Now you're probably thinking, do you know what? That looks awesome. I know it does. But guess what? It doesn't end there. I know, isn't it just a brilliant idea to split the stamp? And do you know what? That wasn't my idea. That was my graphic designer's idea who said, would your crafters, because she's not a crafter, would they benefit from doing half and half? Would they like to leave half naked? Or maybe just stencil half and have half a white a plain white and then interconnect the color does that make sense such a cool cool idea now let's figure out this one now let's find out where this needs to go take a moment take a moment pick it up Tony in place and again don't be hard on yourself if it, if you don't quite line it up it's not the end of the world so I'm just going to hold it in place just take it off my head while I just lean in so you can all I don't want you all to see my grey hair because you all send me grey <laughs> joint list if you want to give me a punch Join the list, everyone. So I'm just running this one through. So this is going to die cut. Now, this is where it's sort of like you're thinking, woohoo, looks so cool. Let's get a bit of gold. Excuse my die cut. Doesn't end there though, does it? One more stage to go. One more stage to go. Right, let's get our lovely um, embossing folder. Which, oh, I followed the theme through. It has that chamfered edge. We're all giddy kippers, Avril says. <laughs> So you feel your embossing folder, feel the rise and fall, and then again, if it helps, make um, feel it and then put a mark on front, F for front, okay? So that's going to push through. So then I'm just going to take my embossing folder and I'm just going to take take the moment to line it up, okay? Take your time. It's not a race. So when I'm happy and satisfied I've got it in the right place and then any excess card that I've left around the edge I'll just cut it away and then I will end up with the most beautiful 3D embellishment for my card this is going to be stunning I'm not joking oh Ron all sent some lovely hearts thank you darling this has got to be the best ever I know oh I forgot the right um, plate there yeah, just doubt yourself sometimes. Hi, Anita. Right, we'll do the reveal. Now, you all know the 3D is incredibly difficult to show on the front. 
but I'll show you on the reverse as well and I have a few samples too. Look, before I do anything, look at the edge. Look at that. So you know from seeing that how much 3D is in here. It's there. You'll be able to see it now. Watch this. Even the reverse is stunning. I mean, oh no, naughty step again. I'm so sorry. Pop out all the little pieces. I mean, I did this in like vintage purples, but think about your lime greens, your teals. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything else because I'll get, I'll get them bothering you. All going to have to join this to truly beat me up. Moving on. So have we picked a winner? I'll pick a winner. Let me just show you a handful of samples very quickly because that's literally all I have. Normally I spend ages showing casing samples, don't I? But I literally don't have that many because they're all at TV. So totally flat here, guys. Vintage browns and colours. No outline, so you get that embossed. No outline on that one. Embossing powder, stencil work in the back. Just the stamp on its own, no die cutting, no stenciling, just pick up a brush, have a play if you want to, and then gold embossed with that lovely 3D embossing on there. And then just the embossing folder there, and then just half painted with a lovely hue on there. I have lots more samples I will show you. What do we all think? Was it worth coming for? Oh, was it worth coming for? I'm sure it was. It's like Christmas in the morning, I know. Isn't it wonderful craft? It makes me very happy. It makes you very happy. We're good, aren't we? We're so good. So a couple of ways then. The Quattro D is available now. It is available on the show as well on Friday. The Shaker Embossing 3D folders are exclusive to TV, so you'll only be able to get them to TV, apart from if you're in the USA. Um, they'll not be available on our website until 24 hours later. Um, so, quick, quick, quick uh, run through. No, I'll not get it all out. I think you get the idea. I'm getting a bit giddy. So, four 3D uh, Shaker Embossing folders. Don't forget those two topper pads, die set lots of acetate i've also popped some happy hour deals in for some shaker bits for your windows as well and then we have our beautiful quattro d now i only put one quattro d in we have a ton of quattro d by the way but i'm just going to feed them in one by one because i think it's such a big ask to put two big bundles together that are 50 pound a pop or whatever they're going to be so i'm trying to break them down um so it's affordable it's manageable and nobody misses out because i know that a lot of you like to buy and it you know it's there if you want it. And they're there as individuals as well. So um, that's it from me. Let's pick a winner. So one lucky winner is going to get today's show. So we will give away in this evening's show the shaker embossing folders to say thank you for coming and saying hello. And then if you pop a comment underneath this video when I've gone off air, I'll pick a winner for Quattro D um magnolia so you've got two chances so this evening's winner is a lady who is actually a regular on here and it's a lovely lady called karen lone so well done sweetheart you've just won yourself the shaker windows the shaker 3d window embossing folders whatever you might want to call them so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you've had a wonderful evening i'm so pleased i got to demo that magnolia as well because i have a funny feeling i'm not going to get chance to get to that in the live show because it's going to be absolutely manic so just a quick recap on this week i'm with you tomorrow at one o'clock create together club tomorrow night me and sarah are live at six o'clock she's got a brand new launch in the how to craft network studio Wednesday night, I'm with Spellbinders, Susan Tierney Coburn at 6 o'clock with her beautiful flowers. Thursday, 1 o'clock, Create Together Club. And Friday, I'm live over on Create and Craft at 6 o'clock. Don't miss out. I'm not going to tell you when to go and buy, but don't miss out on the um, 
new products if you like them have a beautiful evening well done karen pm me your address lovely to see you all i hope you like the products and if you do please share this video after i've gone off air as well have a great evening everyone take care bye